I was wrong. So excited about the carnivore diet, so excited about the health benefits I'd achieved, I missed something. And it's something important. Something that if you're not careful can impact both your physical and mental health. And today I'm talking to Scott from the Carnivore Lion and Annabelle from Annabelle's Awareness to discuss this very point. Just before we get into it guys, I have a goal of reaching 50,000 subscribers by the end of April. And if you've ever enjoyed a video on my channel, I would really appreciate it if you could take the split second right now to smash the subscribe button and let's get to that 50k goal together. Thank you so much. Let's talk to Scott and Annabelle. Now the reason I wanted to have Scott and Annabelle on is because I was thinking about healing, being your best self, and I think although diet really helps us to get there i'm not sure that uh, it can get us 100 percent of the way there i think there's a little bit more to it so um scott and annabelle have a, a new program that has just been released and uh so i want to talk a little bit about that but first um maybe uh scott and annabelle if you'd like to introduce yourselves scott? annabelle I'll let, I'll let you take this one Oh, right. You'll let me. Okay, cool. So, okay, I'm Annabelle. I'm 24 and I started the carnivore diet in 2020 in February. Um, and I haven't been 100% strict carnivore. I have, you know, been slightly on and off and experimenting, but it hasn't been like on and off in terms of back onto a standard diet. It's been like on and off adding in like an avocado or something like that, right? Berry. So pretty much for the most part, carnivore for all that time and it was working really well for me the only thing is uh i don't know how well it could have worked for me because it probably would have been a lot better if i didn't have ptsd when i started the carnivore diet because i had a lot to heal and my body wasn't functioning the way it used to when i started it but i got the most incredible results despite that so um the you know the diet is just absolutely incredible and i think we all agree here that nutrition is absolutely key and foundational to anything thing because you're you're not really gonna go very far if you don't get your nutrition right from my perspective and experience um however uh, when i uh, had ptsd the carnival diet was kind of fixing everything in terms of um i i began to have these ptsd flashbacks uh it was from four to five times a day it went to maybe twice a week to once a week to twice a month something like that so basically drastically diminished how often I was getting these flashbacks which helped um and I was kind of okay with my nervous system although I think from even young um age and childhood it wasn't 100% good um and so then at that point uh during the summer I actually ended up getting more poisoning when I was traveling so I was exposed to some kind of a severely toxic mold or fungus I don't even know what it was but Anyhow, I got really, really bad um, illness from that. And I'm still recovering from it. But uh, I can say that thanks to the brain retraining, oh, I've, I've just come so far. And uh, moving back to the UK, having community, working on a farm, being on the land and implementing all of the things that I talk about in the community has just been a massive game changer. Because while I was living in Estonia by myself, I wasn't healing as well because I wasn't happy. I was alone. I felt a lack of purpose and motivation. But obviously when you have got community around you and you feel happy and, and like you add value into someone's life, that changes everything. And it means that you're kind of, you're just in a completely different space energetically, which then does allow you to heal. And that's what I've experienced. So yeah, although I'm young, I mean, there's so much more to my story. I've been through a lot, but that was kind of like the very, very quick version. Thank you. And and Scott? Yeah, well, some of you guys may know me as the Carnivore Lion. Uh, so I have my own YouTube channel. Um, I've had Dave on. Actually, sorry, I had Bell Shine on first. Because I'm, I'm sorry, I think Bell Shine's really hot. I don't know about you guys. Um, I typically tune into your channel, Dave, when Bell Shine takes over. And then sometimes, you know, I'll watch a Dave video. It depends, you know, depends what you're talking about. But uh you know, if you get a, if you have a good Joey Schwartz video in there, maybe I'll tune in for that. But, uh -huh. um, <clears throat> but, um, and then I just had an interview with Dave. So if you guys want to check that out, plug in my own channel here. Sorry, Dave. Um, but uh, yeah, I've I've dealt with um, chronic illness for a long time now. It's been over six years. Um, for me, it started with stress. Pretty much, that's been the root cause for everything. 
Um, six years ago, I was going through a very stressful time in my life. Um, there's both good stress and bad stress. I had both. Um, I had a, a couple of people pass away that I was really close to. Um, that sort of set off this really terrible depression. Um, but I also had some great stuff going on. I was getting married. Um, I was moving to a new city. I had quit my job and was starting a business, which it's all great and, and you know fun and everything. But at the same time, good stress is still st stressful as well. So I was constantly in this sort of upregulated state to the point where I was just getting really sick. And then what made matters worse, I went to the doctor, like many people do, and they start loading you up on medications, right? Um, so putting these band-aids on on problems that are really, you know, I don't I don't think I was ever really a depressed person or anxious person. It was more circumstantial. So instead of getting to the root of the problem, they throw these band-aids at you. Um, and that's when my problems really started. Because when I try to get off these drugs, a lot of people in the carnivore space know about Jordan Peterson, for instance, right? When he tried to hop off that benzodiazepine, he was deathly ill for like two years. If you see videos of him, they were like wheeling him around in a wheelchair. He had to go to Russia to get put in a self-induced coma. So a lot of people say like, oh yeah, you know, I withdrew from a benzo and I was sick for like, a, maybe I had some brain fog for a week or I was a little bit sick. Like this stuff could kill you. It, it makes you extremely, extremely ill. And I was in that state for years where every day it felt like somebody's holding a gun in my head. I was just in it, like the stress was absolutely insane. It just feels like you're being chased by bears all day long. And um, from there, it just was just complete. Everything just started going downhill. Like I started getting terrible gut issues. Um, then like all the literally hundreds of symptoms at once. Um, both physical and neurological. Um, I just thinking back on it, like, I don't know how I'm still alive. I really don't know how I'm still alive. I think it's such a testament to how the, how much abuse the human body could take and our ability to recover is just miraculous to me. And, um, I'm still dealing with a lot of the effects. I went carnivore to help with these symptoms and it did. Don't get me wrong. Carnivore helped me. I did, I think it was 456 days I counted of strict carnivore. And I tried every which way of doing it. I tried going like super high fat. I tried cutting out all the processed foods and processed meat, like, you know, no bacon, no butter, no dairy, like eating super clean. I tried the lion diet version. I tried, I tried everything with carnivore. And trust me, I, I am, I'm sort of like old school carnivore here. This I've been doing this now for, um, I don't know what's, what's it been going on about two and a half years. And I was mostly meat based before that. And now I've kind of going back, I've gone back to going meat based. I'm not strict carnivore anymore, but in that time frame, I probably got to the point where I was like maybe 50% better which, hey, I'll take it. I mean, to me, 50% better was between laying in bed all day and actually being able to function for my family. But I, I wasn't getting all the way there. I would, you know, I was just, it had been like a year and, and on strict carnivore. I'm like, I still don't feel good. You know, I still don't feel quite right. And it dawned on me. So I, I had Ribeye Rachel on my channel. Some of you guys may know her. You guys could check out her channel. You're welcome, Ra Rachel, for the plug. But um, I had her on my channel and she goes, Scott, you know, I know you've tr tried everything, tried every protocol, you've been every doctor, you've been it's had every test imaginable. I've spent probably upwards of $40,000 on protocols and supplements and treatments and so on, you know, over the years. And um, nothing ever worked for me. In fact, a lot of things made me worse. And what I never worked on, which is what Rachel pointed out to me, goes, she goes, I think you need to work on your brain, <laughs> right? Which sounds so silly, but when you're constantly in a stress fight or flight response and you're, you feel like every minute of every day you're being chased by a tiger, you're constantly releasing these inflammatory hormones. Mm. You're constantly going to be driving up cortisol, norepinephrine, adrenaline. And if that, if that is constantly going on in your body, 
you're just going to be riddled with inflammation. And when your gut's inflamed, it causes all sorts of symptoms. You know, I have terrible gastritis. When you get gastritis, your stomach lining starts to recede, your stomach acid gets impaired, you start getting overgrowth of like SIBO, candida, you could get parasites, you don't digest your food food properly, your motility slows down, your vagus nerve gets impaired, everything gets impaired. And this all stems from pretty much a stress. And I think it's the most overlooked thing. Because if you go to a practitioner, they're always it's going to be like, oh, you need to go on this paras anti parasitic protocol, or you need to address um, you know, bacterial overgrowth or or whatever. But they never look at your brain as as the way to heal because it, the main thing that I've learned is that when you have a gut injury, you're going to have a brain injury. When you have a brain injury, you're going to have a gut injury. There's the gut brain axis and they're intricately connected and you can't separate the two. Mm -hmm. So when I started doing this brain retraining stuff, I started waking up just simple little things, exercise I was doing every day. So doing like affirmations, gratitude, you know, um, just waking up and doing like deep breathing, like just hacks like that to bring my cortisol down. I started noticing over time, I started just feeling like a little bit better. It was like every month it was maybe like 5% better to the point now where it's like, I'm starting to like exercise again, do little things. Yes. Do I still look like your accountant? Believe it or not, I still, I used to be a bodybuilder, but do I look like a guy who does your taxes now? Yes, I do. But <laughs> Hey, if you guys had seen me even five, six months ago, I couldn't get out of bed. I, you know what I mean? Like my, my life was lying in bed watching TV. And it like it makes me want to cry just think about it. Like it was a very sad life. And while I'm still not 100%, because it's going to take time, you don't just heal from chronic illness, especially if you've been sick for so long, right? But I'm at that point now where I'm just so grateful. And really, all it took, man, to get, I think, the full way there, and it, you know, I will get the full way there, is it just took working on my mindset, working on my brain health. Mm -hmm. And uh, my gut's so much better. I'm sleeping better. I could digest food better. I started reintroducing eggs again. Um, and I'm still, I'm starting to be able to eat like red meat more now. So there's a lot of cool things happening. That's why we want to start this community up and sort of throw the kitchen sink at everything. So we're going to be working on diet, sleep, exercise, you know, working on brain retraining, having a supportive community where people understand you. And people give you that support and keep you motivated, you know, so, and most of all, we just want to bring joy back to our lives, right? Mm. Let's watch some stupid movies. Let's, let's listen to some silly music, you know, let's like do anything, like go play on a swing set or something, you know, do something you did when, when we, we were kids and we had an imagination and we had lots of fun and we didn't have all this like adult bullshit going on, you know? Mm. Um, so really that's what we did. And uh, so we started up this community and uh, it just got going and we're super excited and yeah, it's going awesome. Let me, let me give you a situation. Let me give you my kind of situation and, and, and tell me if this is the, um, how the program would help me with this. So I've been on the carnivore diet for nine months now and I feel great relative to any point in my life. I feel great. This is going to come out the wrong way. I've got a lot of mental problems. No, I've got like, <laughs> I, um, I, you're like me though. You're a very anxious person, kind yes, of, right? Like, I, I, I'm very yeah, anxious. Okay. I stress about things. I mull over things. Um, I don't sleep very well. Um, I'm sleeping better than I did, but I don't sleep very well. Um, I don't sleep for a long time. Um, there, there's a lot of things going on up there. And I feel like because there's a lot of things just always going on up there, it never stops. I feel like that impacts my whole body. And so is the program that you're running, that's it, it'll kind of help me deal with that better? Yeah, because it will get you into a state of rest and digest. So essentially, you'll mm. be able to calm down your brain and optimize your neurotransmitters at the times that they're supposed to be firing. So you mm. won't be feeling so wired, for example, you know, overthinking and mulling and anxious because you'll get those kind of like right hits the 
right times and those right signals that will allow you to kind of back off and and um, ease off a little bit from feeling that way. Mm. Yeah, obviously, like, you know, the main thing is that we want to balance your hormones, right? And like Annabelle said, um, you know, because your your gut, I mean, a, a lot of your neurotransmitters like GABA and serotonin are created in, in your, by your gut microbiome, right? It's kind of created by your gut bacteria. In fact, I would say most of those neurotransmitters are created by gut bacteria. So when you are in a more of a parasympathetic state, you're going to help um, sort of, you know, manifest these um, these these sort of uh, thought patterns in a better way that that you're having. And it really takes a lot of like exercise, emotional exercise um, to do that. And so like waking up in the morning and I would say for you, wake up in the morning and getting right into the, something like gratitude journaling. So writing out like, you know, uh, what you're grateful for in the day, having uh, 10 affirmations. I mean, this is scientifically proven. There was one study showing that people who did this every day were, you know, I know this is very, there's sort of a lot of subjective measures when it comes to happiness, right? But they felt 60% happier than they did mm. after doing this for, after, for 30 days. They felt 60% happier than they did prior to doing these exercises. Right, which is like absolutely incredible. It's absolutely amazing, right? Um, I think that everybody can optimize their lives in certain ways. Like there's no one that has the perfect life, right? We all could use a little bit of work. And um, unfortunately, as adults, you know, we live in a time now where we're not being chased by bears anymore, but we're dealing with our asshole bosses. We're dealing with, you know, shitty in-laws, you know, that that that, you know, whatever, just annoying. Um, you know, we have work. I mean, a lot of people don't enjoy their work, right? These are just constant stressors day in and day out. Mm -hmm. And over time, it's like you get looped into this, this chronic fight or flight stress response. It's hard to remove yourself from that. It comes to the point where a lot of people, when they get home from work every day, they just want to plop in front of the TV and just say, I'm done with it. Mm. I'm done with it. You know, and I got to that point where I'm like, well, what kind of life is that? You know, what kind of life is that? You're you're living to be stressed out at work. You come home and then the life is sucked out of you. You know, I think people need to find joy in their lives again. They need to find passion. They need to find purpose. I'll, I'll tell you this, Dave, and I know this is going off on a rant here, but the best thing that ever happened to me was getting sick. By far the best thing that's ever happened in my life. Because I wouldn't be here talking to you right now if we weren't going for going through the worst absolute hell imaginable. I couldn't have imagined being as sick as I was and going through that level of hell. But it brought about knowledge so I feel like, you know, as cliche as it sounds, I feel like I've escaped the matrix. Um, and you could go too far. I don't want to go with conspiracy, but I feel like a lot of things that I've really learned over the last couple of years. Um, I've met some amazing people, yourself and Annabelle included in that. And I have so much more meaning and purpose in my life. And now I could go on and teach my kids these lessons. I could teach my family. I could teach my friends. Hey, they might not listen, but I could try, you know. And this is what I'm trying to teach people in the community, right? But um, some people are a little bit more resistant to it. I know there's a lot of people out there that have a very skeptical, you know, stubborn mind, which I have as well. And people will be like, oh, brain retraining. How's that going to fix my gut? Trust me, it does. Once you start bring that, bringing down that inflammation, the root cause of so much is inflammation. And the root cause of inflammation is stress for a lot of people. You start reducing that stress, I guarantee you your life is going to get so much better and your health is going to improve vastly from that alone. So mm. I know that like when my stress has started coming down, my CRP, because I get my CRP checked and other inflammatory markers, when that stuff started getting better, my neurological symptoms just like poof. Mm. Hey, I still have my bad days, don't get me wrong. But compared to what it used to be, oh my God, it's like night and day night and day so i i'm a full believer that inflammation 
causes like neurological problems, all sorts of things, every condition you could imagine. It, it makes sense. I mean, uh, like you talk about skeptical people that think our oh, brain retraining doesn't work. I mean, it's the same as getting people on a keto or a carnivore diet as well, right? You've got most people are skeptical. How can diet fix all my problems, right? Or how how can diet get rid of this joint pain or whatever it is? Yeah. Then it does. Well, it does because it reduces the inflammation. The inflammation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And and, and sometimes so sometimes it does fix all your problems. Does the same. Mm. Yeah, I mean, sometimes carnivore does fix all your problems. I've had had many people in the community, but I've also met a lot of people who it doesn't fix all their problems. Mm. But why doesn't it fix all their problems? Because they've been sick for twenty years. Mm. You can't just go on a diet for a month and be like, oh, all my, you know, all my problems. Are... You've been you've been thrown into this chronic loop of being a chronically ill person, right? And you gotta... it's like your brain is trained towards that. You know, you're yeah. trained to be a chronically ill person. And now you don't um, undo that. <laughs> you can undo that, right? So it's um, you know, I'm I'm just like, I can't believe I'm still alive and I can't believe I'm like getting my life back. <laughs> you know, I have two small kids. I have a one year old and four year old. And even just six months ago, I was like, I don't know if I'll still be alive for them. They're gonna have to grow up without a dad. I mean, that's what went through my head every day you know and it was the most depressing thought you could just imagine like i know dave i know you have a kid you know and if you could imagine going through that it's just it's it's the worst torture alive you know and uh i've met so many so many people that feel the same way you know they email me every day and um there's a lot of hope out there there's hope for you guys you know and i'd say if you've tried everything like me and nothing's worked this is the missing component for you if if someone wants to try this out, you're running um, the first month free. Is that right? If they sign up in March? Yeah. So March is free for everyone. So it's only for March. So you still have time to sign up, obviously. Um, even if it's in the middle of March, it still counts. Uh, and it's kind of a good way for you to try it out and see the validity of it yourself. Hmm. Yeah, we have five classes a week, so we still have a lot of classes to go in March. All you have to do is, is go to our website, limbic-training.com, mm -hmm. and uh, sign up your email. You don't have to put in your credit card information, nothing like that. Um, and yeah, you'll just get thrown right into the class. We have so many different classes to choose from. We have our awesome community, and we're all in this together. So we're hoping everyone could join on that and uh, just give it a try. There's nothing to lose. And and um, you you mentioned five classes. So um, are those classes like if I if I have a look at the classes and I think I want to take this one, but I don't want to take this one. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. But I would say that all of the coaches and the guest speakers that we have are truly incredible. So it's kind of worth even if you might think that you don't want to try a class, just at least see. Um, to go and do the first one and see how you feel because you might surprise yourself and I feel like everybody brings so much to the table within our community that the whole thing there's just so much value in there even if you don't need to do one class you're going to gain so much value but obviously it's up to you however you feel like you want to do it okay awesome all right and uh yeah. just, to, well, just well, sorry oh sorry go ahead Scott no no you go ahead Dave I just wanted to clarify. So, like, if someone signs up in March, they can sign up for the remainder of March. And as I think you said, they don't have to supply a credit card or anything. They can test it out completely, completely for free. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. We that's want to awesome. make it. We we want to make it easy for everybody. You know, like it's it, even like after uh, when April, it's not free anymore. It's pretty low cost, mm -hmm. and um, we're also going to have like affiliate codes and stuff where you guys can get discounts. So. Um, it's not, you know, some of these programs out there are charging like 500 bucks a month. And trust me, I've done them when I was really desperate and they helped. But I mean, they also hurt my bank account, which is already depleted <laughs> quite a bit. So, mm. <laughs> right, like, you know, two, two kids and on uh, the pandemic and, uh, you know, being sick. I mean, it's costly, right? So I get it. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, it's kind of like the Netflix of uh, of classes. You guys could choose what you want. But like Annabelle said, I would I try each class once, see mm -hmm. if you guys feel like it's right for you, and uh, yeah, give it give it a go from there. I want to ask you, Dave, what brings mm -hmm. you joy in your life? 
Um, seeing my daughter grow up, um, you know, being a, just something simple, being able to take my daughter to school, that that makes me so happy. Or, you know, when I was leaving the house this morning and she gives me a big hug or something like that. Okay, so I want to ask you guys, we'll do a round table here. I want one affirmation and one gratitude. What are you guys grateful for? And set a positive intention for us. Okay. I'll go first. Yeah. yeah you go first. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm grateful. Um I'm grateful for my daughter being healthy and positive affirmation. I'm safe, I'm confident, and uh I know that everything is okay. Okay, so for me, my affirmation would be that I know that anything is possible uh, and I can achieve anything I set my mind to. And I'm grateful for every single person that I've met on this journey who is still here today and still inspiring me and basically just uh, here in my life, <laughs> like you guys, for example, in the community. So my yes. affirmation is that I am safe, strong, and I trust the path that I'm on in my life. And I am grateful to have such amazing people in my life, uh, most of all my kids, but I'm grateful for you guys. You know, it's, there was a time in my life where I hated everything and everyone pretty much. And in this space, you get a lot of snake oil salesmen, believe it or not. I know it's probably just blowing your mind that I said that. But uh, <laughs> all these practi practitioners and stuff, but, you know, there are some really amazing, honest, down to earth people out there like Dave and Annabelle, who I absolutely love, very trustworthy people that really care, you know, and, and have the best intentions. And I'm so grateful to have met people like that in my life because they're not always that easy to come by. And uh, I feel like I've just I'm, I've hit the jackpot there. So nice that's it <laughs> um can i can i can i just say that going around like that it just doing the affirmation the gratitude it does make you feel very very positive <laughs> yeah um, you know it's yeah it's a simple concept like imagine you were sitting in a mirror every day telling yourself you're ugly for 10 years in a row mm. what's going to happen even if you started saying it you know, just as a joke mm. and imagine, you know, in the beginning you're, you thought you're, you were the most handsome guy on the planet, but for 10 years, every day you'd wake up in the morning and tell yourself you're ugly. It's the same thing with this. It's that same chronic loop, that broken tape recorder loop. Right. Mm. And when you start telling yourself simple things, even if you lie, you fake it till you make it. If you lie to yourself, you might feel like dog shit, but if you start saying to yourself every day, I am healed, I am happy and I am healthy. You know, tell yourself that every single day and eventually you're going to start rewiring those negative neural pathways mm -hmm. towards healing instead of being geared towards chronic illness. It's yeah. amazing how you can transform mm -hmm. pretty quickly too. And yeah, it's important to remember that everything's connected, like you say, right? The gut and the, and the brain, it's, it's all connected and works in ways that, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know... And I know. And I think that you should really relay that message to Belle Shine because sometimes <laughs> I feel, you know, she's, she's a great girl, but she's a handful, man. And uh, sometimes, it's, you know, I could tell she's kind of in that negative mind frame, you know? Yeah. Yeah. She locked me out of the cupboard over there. She's put all her pop tarts in the cupboard and locked it up. So she's, she's <laughs> uh, upset today. Yeah. yeah. But any, uh, anyway, guys, look, Thank you so much for coming on. So um, just to run through, people want to sign up. Um, they uh, they can sign up for March um, and uh, they don't uh, they don't need to submit any credit card details or anything. They can tr try it up for free. What's the website they need to go to? So the know. website is uh, limbic-training or limbic-training.com. Awesome. And yeah. it's pretty straightforward yeah. once you get there, what to do. There's a sign up button um, and you just, you click on that. All you do, like Scott said, is submit your email and you'll get everything that you need to, to you 
you know, get on board, uh, links for everything and access and and that's it really. And then uh, we brought a, a separate community chat. So if you need anything else or if you have any questions, you can just reach out to us on there or email us. Awesome. Yeah. We're always around, guys. If you guys need to reach us, you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. We'd be happy to respond. Awesome. Annabelle and Scott, thank you so much for coming on. Thank, Thank you, you Dave. You're awesome. I'm a huge fan. So I'm, I'm so yeah. glad to see the success that you're having with your channel. It's great. Finally, you say something to me instead of Belshine. <laughs> 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 thanks a lot, yeah. guys. Cheers. Thanks, Dave. Bye, Dave. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. Click the join button under this video or the first link in the description. Thanks again, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.